Besides the processor, you'll need to attach a few things to your motherboard. The RAM, also known as memory, is important for storing information while your applications and OS are running. More RAM typically gives you a snappier response. For video editing, we'll need a lot, so we've gone with 16 gigabytes of quad-channel DDR3 RAM. Make sure you buy the appropriate RAM for your type of motherboard. When handling the RAM, be sure to be aware of static discharge. Always touch a metal piece of the case before touching a component, or wear an anti-static wrist strap. Locate the RAM slots on your motherboard. Our motherboard has six of them, but we'll only be using four. Be sure to reference your motherboard's manual to determine what order you can use the slots. On our motherboard, we'll be using the first four from left to right. RAM only fits in one direction, so be sure you have it oriented correctly and press firmly down. If you've inserted it correctly, the little latches on the sides will snap into place on their own. Peripheral cards, like our NVIDIA Quadro card, are installed similarly. First, determine which slot you'll be using. For the Quadro, we want to use the 16X PCI Express slot. Unscrew and remove the slot cover on the back of the case that lines up with the PCI Express slot. Insert your video card with the ports facing out of the back of the case and press down firmly. The card should fit snugly in the slot. Remember to secure the card with the screw you took out previously. It may take a little force to line up the card with the hole for the screw, but that's fine. Other cards can be installed the same way. We decided to add a TV tuner and additional USB ports. So to review, be sure you selected the proper type of RAM for your motherboard. Insert the RAM in the proper slot order. Make sure the memory cards snap into place. For peripheral cards, remove the metal covers on the back of the case. Press firmly down and secure with a screw. For the IDG News Service, I'm Nick Barber.